Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be walking you through the latest release from Art Impressions. They were kind enough to send a big box to me filled with all of their stamps and dies and interactive creativeness. Um, I wasn't able to go to the trade show in January. I usually go to the Craft and Hobby Association trade show, but I didn't go this year, and I was really sad. I usually love to stop by the Art Impressions booth and see what they're up to. So I was very happy and surprised to receive this in the mail a couple days ago. So this is their catalog. I have not looked through it. I kind of glanced. I just you know picked it up, and I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at it. And then um, I saw just the stamps that were on the very top of the box. But other than that, I have not seen anything. I did want to mention that I've done a video like this, uh, it was probably about six months ago or so, where I showed you the latest release that included all of their holiday stamps and dies. If you want to see that video, I'll have it linked up here in the top corner in the iCard, and you can go and check that out. But it's really kind of fun just to walk through these and kind of see what they have in store for us. Also, I am putting together kind of like a giveaway prize pack, just with some random um, items from Art Impressions. So if you would like to win that prize pack, there will, there will be instructions at the end of this video. Okay, so I'm gonna put the box. Now this is all that I saw when I opened it up, and I did glance at this one stamp and die set, which I thought was adorable. Let me move this out of the way. So it's a little bit less distracting. And we will get into this. They've got a lot of fun watercolor stuff, it looks like. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this, too, because it's always better when you zoom in. I said this in the past, but I really love how Art Impressions always includes examples of how their products are finished, like they're colored, put together, things like this. So this looks like it makes a little cup, critter cups, I guess. And you have the stamp set... And the dies create the different ear pieces, it looks like. I think. Yeah. They also include instructions, <laughs> which is always good. So this is way cute. I believe um, this has like put out for Valentine's Day. So kind of fun for Valentine's and Easter. Super cute. Okay, I'm going to put this one aside. And then I have a bunch in their watercolor line, which is really popular. And... You, oh, I'm getting a peek at other things too. Okay. All right. So their watercolor line is really fun because it's meant to be used with watercolor markers. So you use your marker and you marker up the stamp, um, maybe spritz it with a little bit of water or just use wet watercolor and then you can stamp it down and you get really fun watercolor effects. So this is a new foliage set and some mini flowers. I love these little mini sets. Here's a new little door. It's a little hobbit door. So cute. Um, more flowers. And the thing you have to note with these, these little flower sets, it doesn't come with the pot or vessel that is shown in the example. So they usually have sets that have um, different containers that you can buy. So I don't know if there's any, well, here's one. There's these, um, like, a paint, paint, not a paint can, a watering can, two watering cans, and then it looks like there's a well as well. So there's that one. Okay, this one is windows. That little fox is so cute. Note that the fox is not included in the set up here. You want to make sure that when you're looking at things, look at the example of the set, and then you can see the full size on the back. All right, oh, here are those critters that I was just talking about. So it looks like there's a cat, a bunny, a dog, a deer, and a fox. So cute. All right, some textures. This is wall texture set. This would be fun, even if you just wanted to stamp it for the background for like a scene that you're creating that you don't even have to do watercolor with it. You can just stamp it for a scene. I think that'd be really fun. I'm gonna have to make sure I set this aside and use it because I could really use that in a bunch of stuff. Here's a door set. Super pretty. I love that they've uh, painted in some curtains in the door. So fun. Okay, these are some cobblestone sets. Oh, so it has like the perspective on it. That's cool. So they have, you guys can see that up there. They've, they've drawn it so it's at a perspective so that you can stamp it just right. That's awesome. I like scene building elements. Here's a truck mini set. 
so great. And then tree set. Now, how big are these trees? Oh, they're pretty good size. Pretty good size trees. So you could build a whole scene with all this stuff. So, so many new stamps for their watercolor line. I'm really impressed with that. All right, let's move on to this little stack here. I'm just gonna grab them all at once. And these aren't gonna be in their lines, like grouped, because I'm just grabbing them from the box. Okay, so here's a cute little Valentine's house. So cute. Okay, so this pairs with their house set. So you can use all these things on the house set or you can use them individually. There's a little mailbox, a little string of red of hearts that you can paint red. <laughs> but this goes with their house. They have a house set that had um, that came around came out around the holidays and it has like um, there's a Halloween version so you can make it a haunted house. There's a Christmas version so you can make it almost like a gingerbread house or just a house with holiday decorations on it. So this is kind of like a builder set to go with that house. So super fun. And here's the same house. You can kind of see how they've decorated them different for the holidays. So here's Easter. So cute. Okay, this is something new. Circlet mini trifolds. Three fold project series. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So it's like their other trifolds, except the window that's cut out is a circle and it has a greeting that you stamp around the outside edge. How fun. They do inc include the dies, which I think is smart because for this particular type of interactive card, you really would need the specific dies. So fun. Okay, here's another one. That one was birthday. This one is cottage circlet. So fun. You can see the example of how it's all cut out. Here's lighthouse circlet. Oh, I love that that cut creates the light beams from the lighthouse. That's super cool. And the image of the lighthouse is really, really pretty. So you don't necessarily have to use it with this project. You could use it with, you know, whatever you'd like. So pretty. Um, cabin circlet. I like the sentiment too. May simple joys fill your day. May wonderful memories come your way. Such a great sentiment. Okay, this is a this is a trifold, kind of like their traditional trifolds they've had in the past. But this one's all about camping. I think it's so cute. You can kind of see the example at the bottom of how it opens and close, closes. This one is produce stand. I have a little raccoon in there. He's cute. What does it say on the inside? You're one in a melon. That's cute. <laughs> okay, so there's trifolds. All right, um, I'm going to grab this other stack here. All right, these look like they are their clear stamp sets. So this is one that came out for Valentine's Day. This one is Valentine Bears. They're cute. I love this big love one. It's apt that I said I love it. And look how big it is. That's, that's a really nice size. Like here's the size of a regular card. That's you know, that'll fill your, whole, fill your whole card. I think that's really cute. Such a cute set. Okay, St. Patrick's Day. I'm so happy they have a shamrock set because there aren't very many, uh, what's the word? There aren't very many St. Patrick's Day stamp sets out there. I love this. Shake your shamrocks. I love it. Shamrocks and shenanigans for all. Love. So cute. Easter. Oh, this is cute. You can make kind of like a little place card. You can make a place card for your Easter dinner. Or it could just be a little tag to go on a little gift. This one is Sweet Easter. Okay, guinea pigs. Who has guinea pigs? <laughs> this one's called Guinea Pig Out. It's your birthday pig out. We'll admit we're old when pigs fly. Happy pig birthday. So cute. Hello from the pellet factory. It's going to be a great day. So cute. All right. Oh, sloths. Sloths are big right now. Sloths are really popular. I love you a whole sloth. <laughs> so cute. Such fun little critters. All right. And this one is whisk it. Life is short, take a whisk. 
That's cute. Love it. Life is what you bake it. You make everything better. <laughs> All you need is love. So cute. All righty. On to another stack. And let's see. Get all these. Okay, flutters. This is a new interactive. It does have dyes, it looks like. And I guess you use the little brads, right? Yeah, it has brads in here. Use brads and then it makes the arms move around. So it's kind of like their hinge stamps that they came out with in the last release. Once again, go up there and click on that if you want to see what those look like. Um, so you add on the little arms and then the, the arms will flutter. That's so cute. So this one's sheep. This one's fairy flutter. I think this is great. They do awesome fairy themed stamp sets and especially interactive stamp sets for your cards. Um, Cause I think fairies are so fun for birthday cards. So there's fairy flutter. Oh, I love their owls. Owl flutter set. You know, their owls, I should say it's Bonnie, her, her owls. Bonnie Krebs is the one who illustrates all their stuff. Um, the owls are what attracted me to art impressions in the first place. My friend Kathy Rakusen, I'll link to her YouTube channel up here. Um, she would always color these cute owl stamps from art impressions. And I was like, where are those from? And that's, that was my introduction to art impressions. So I really love their owls. Here's a dog flutter set with those ears. He's <laughs> so cute. Dog flutter set. Here's a pig flutter set. So cute. Oh, another dog. This one is a twist. So how does this... Okay, so it walks you through... I'm not sure exactly how... This is put together. I'm thinking it's just two dies and you kind of place them together. I don't know if they move around. I have no idea. They're like interlocking. How fun. And here's another one with kind of like the twisting. They're interlocking. That one is Flamingo. Here's elephants. Two little elephants with their trunks twisting up with a flower. So cute. And then giraffe twist set. So cute. And it looks like the dies cut everything to put them together. How fun. I'm going to have to experiment with these because I haven't seen them. So I don't know exactly how it works. All right, we've got a few more stamp sets. And it looks like they have kind of like a consumable that goes. Oh, actually, I'll go through this first because it's twist ties card and envelope pack for use with Art Impressions twist ties. So the ones that we were just looking at, I'm wondering, are they really different or, oh, oh, I'm understanding this more now. So you're putting, let me get this one out here. You're putting one animal on each side of the trifold. And then when you put it together, it, they twist and lock. How fun is that idea? Okay. I'm going to have to make one of those because they're super fun and interesting. So they actually sell a pack of these pre-made cards with the right measurements. So smart. So, so smart. Okay, we've got a few stamp sets left. So, and it looks like I've got a couple of their girlfriend stamps and then more of these clear ones. Okay, so I love all of their um, stamp sets with older people on them. I think it's so fun. Got a garden set. I'm so excited. I wet my plants. That's cute. There's gnome one like you. Their sayings are always so great. All right. So this is got a garden. And then we have perfect duet set. It's not the years in your life. It's the life in your years. Happy anniversary to the perfect duet. Still grinning from year to year perfect partners. You're the one that I love. I love it. So great. So this is perfect duet and then office party set. Oh, this is great. Cause there's a lot of like a birthday wish from all of us. Thanks for the note about the email, about the text, about the voicemail you left me. <laughs> I love that. I love that she's sitting at a computer. 
Um, happy birthday, coworker. Here's to another year of keeping each other sane. Here's to shorter to-do lists and longer office parties. Happy birthday to a coworker who doesn't annoy me. It's nice to come to work on Monday after stressing out about work all weekend. You're my favorite coworker after the coffee machine. I love this. So cute. I used to work in an office, so this is awesome. All right, and I'm going to end with the last two stamps. These are for, for their girlfriend's sets. And these are wildly popular. I know a lot of people who actually collect these. So this one is Crazy Friends set. I love this. Love. It's so fun. What does age appropriate mean anyway? If you have crazy friends, you have everything. <laughs> Let's face it, we're one year closer to magnificence. <laughs> I love it. So much character in these. And then this one is Sunny Shades. And it looks like it includes... <laughs> a birthday cake with 5 million candles on it, which is awesome. <laughs> Happy birthday. You're going to need these. And there's all these candles. I love it. That's so great. So you could put this, like, put the image of the women on the front of the card. And then happy birthday. You're going to need these. You could put that inside with the candles on the birthday cake. And also your spectacular for the specs. So cute. All right, so that is the latest release from Art Impressions. Um, most of these are available over in the Simon Says Stamp store right now or at artimpressions.com. So I will link to all the stamps that I can find online at the posting of this video. I will link down in the video description below if you want to check any of these out. Um, I know Simon doesn't stock a ton of them. So if you really love one particular stamp set, you might want to go grab it as soon as you see this video. Um, they do restock often, but uh, if you want, if you're really in love with something, you might want to grab it now. As for the giveaway, I will have a link down in the video description to my blog. And you just have to go to my blog and follow the instructions there. It's a little bit easier to handle giveaways from my blog as opposed to here at YouTube. So um, I do my giveaways all over there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys very soon with more card inspiration. Let me know which stamp set you want to see used first. And thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.